13 truckers block highway and the reason will restore your faith in humanity. It was back in April 2018 that the incredible and moving photo which you're about to see was taken. I don't know about you, but I hate using the highway or the motorway as we call it here in the UK. Sometimes everything just works great and the traffic flows and you get where you want to go and other times you find yourself in a gridlock getting all wound up and stressed out wondering what on earth is going on in the road ahead. It's so frustrating when you don't know what's going on or how long it's going to take. In this instance, I don't think I would have guessed what was going on. Back in April, a poor desperate soul had come to the awful conclusion that he had to take his own life. It was his plan to jump from the bridge into oncoming traffic and end it all in a most awful way. I, I can't imagine how desperate a person must be to consider something like this, but I do know I mustn't judge. Far too many people, especially young men, are ending their lives nowadays that we must take every instance like this completely seriously. It was Officer Michael Shaw who arrived on the scene and was responsible for the safety of the individual in question. Michael's immediate issue wasn't to solve all of this man's problems, but instead just to keep him alive. And it was then that he found himself in that nightmare scenario, talking to a man literally on the edge, a man who had had enough and for whom words just didn't cut it. That's when Officer Shaw knew that action was required and he came up with his genius idea. Thinking well outside the box, Officer Shaw got on the radio to any and all truckers in the area and recruited them for help. And here's the beautiful part. They all came to the rescue without hesitation and stayed put for four whole hours. So what's going on here? As you can see from the photo, all the trucks are parked shoulder to shoulder under the bridge, much reducing the distance to impact while all flowing traffic was diverted. This didn't solve the desperate man's problems, but for the time being it worked. The man's immediate issue, staying alive, was solved and he lived to fight another day. Most importantly, he's now able to find the help he needs and hopefully begin picking up the pieces. Many of us, including myself, have had friends who have committed suicide. And one of the most heartbreaking things is that so many of those who survive their own attempts report immediately regretting their decision. Let's do everything in our power to look out for our friends and family. And if you're in trouble, speak to friends and family. A trusted member of the clergy will always know where to find help. And a simple Google search in your country will give you phone numbers of people specially trained to help people with suicidal thoughts. In the USA, it's the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline at 1-800-273-8255. In the UK, it's 116-123 where you can reach the Samaritans. Share this heartwarming story with your friends and family. And next time you're stuck in traffic, take a deep breath and try not to judge.